guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lucy and I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Things might be a bit weird at the moment though with everything that's going on, but usually Wednesday and Sunday. So today I'm going to be doing a Jeffree Star lip swatch video of all the lips I have belong to Jeffree, which is... So there's 36 liquid lips, 3 glosses and 1 lip ammo. So I'm going to swatch every single one of them, my poor lips. But I just wanted to do this video because I really like watching these. Um, I watched a few of these before I started buying my Jeffree Star collection. Um, because I think a picture on Beauty Bay or Jeffree's site, like you can't imagine it on your lips. There's no point just having it here in a little tube. You know what I mean? You need to have it right here. And especially it being online, it's just so hard to imagine. Sometimes Jeffrey has pictures of people's lips, but a lot of them don't. And it's nice to see it on different skin tones. And that's why I love watching all these different videos because there's a range of different skin tones people do in them instead of just one picture online. So I thought I would just join because I love these videos. So we're just gonna get started. Please wish my lips well. Okay, so let me just give you the brasses. So Jeffree Star liquid lips go for $17.95 and the lip ammos go for $18 and the glosses go for $17.50 as far as I can see. Yeah, so that's the prices of all of them. So that gives you an idea. Great thing about Jeffree Star lips are they are eye safe. So you can do eyeliner, you can use it in the waterline, you can do it all over your face to do designs, which I've done many times. So just keep that in mind, they're multi-purpose, which is really, really good. So first up is this beautiful colour called Jawbreaker. It is a bright blue, it is perfect for winged liner and crazy, crazy looks. I this one day because I just wanted to build my collection so badly, I was just like, just give me that, give me that, give me that. And at first I was like, Jesus, I'm never going to wear this. And I've actually wore it like a few times. Okay, so next up is Soft Serve. It is a beautiful pink. I got this in a mystery box and I've actually not worn it, I don't think at all. But look at it with a look like this. It is quite beautiful and kind of my style. So the next colour is the Broken Heart Mystery Shade from the Mystery Box from Valentine's Collection. It is like a pinky red sparkly kind of colour. I haven't worn this apart from just trying it on in that video, the unboxing. Um, so it'd be nice to see what it would look like with a look like this. So next up is Shane. This was from the Conspiracy Collection. Um, it is kind of like a silvery grey metallic with a hint of green kind of. It's a very, very unusual colour but I had to buy it because like I'm in love with Shane Dawson. I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay, so the next one is Diva. I got this one in another mystery box and I actually really, really like this. I've used it a good few times as liner and once or twice as lipstick as well. It's really, really nice. And I also have it in a mini version as well, so I obviously won't swatch them twice. So next is Ponsetta. It's very like the Broken Heart Mystery Shade. It is just red sparkly and it is gorgeous. I wore it around Christmas time and it is so, so nice. So next is Nathan which is a sensitive subject because they're not together anymore. I wonder will he ever discontinue it. Ah, I doubt it. So Nathan is a lovely nude. I bought this myself. I didn't get it in a mystery box or anything. And it's just, it's beautiful. It really is um, kind of like a peachy nude. So next is Drug Lord, which is gonna look so stupid on my lips because it is a white. I got this for my waterline and to be doing wings as it's very easy to use do liner and um, so yeah it's gonna look rotten. <laughs> Fair play to people who can pull off white lipstick but I am not one of those people. So next up is first class this is a glittery gold it's so nice I actually have I got this in a mystery box first um, and I've used it on my lips just trying it on a few times and I've used that as a liner it's gorgeous and um, it would also be lovely as like on top of a cut crease or something it'd be the perfect kind of color so next up is mannequin i have this in a smaller version as well so i won't swatch both of them it is a gorgeous gorgeous nude it is so nice i wouldn't usually wear it by itself but i'd wear it in the center um of a different lipstick it's so nice together so the next one is the mystery shade from the summer collection it is beautiful pink a bit too pink for me on a normal day but it'd be nice for creative looks or liner 
So the next one is Soul Sucker. This was the exclusive lip to the Halloween mystery box. It will never be made again. And I actually not mad about this because I feel like it has a completely different formula than the rest of the liquid lips, which I find really, really weird. Um, so yeah. So the next one is Rose Matter. This is like a pinky kind of color, a uh, pinky nude. I actually haven't tried this on before, so it'll be exciting to see. Liquid lip comes in the Open for Nudes collection if you wanna buy it and you don't want to get the full size and just want to try loads of different nudes it's a perfect place to get it next up is gemini it is kind of a browny kind of mauve if that's the right word kind of nude so yeah so next is celebrity skin it is really really pale nude i don't think you'd wear it by yourself it'd be more of a topper um but yeah some people can wear it on top i just don't think it would suit me by itself but we'll give it a go it is very like foundation lips, if that makes sense. So next is Equality, which is a dark green. I actually haven't tried this on my lips before, so it'd be cool to see, but kind of weird looking at the same time. Okay, I'm actually loving the green lips. I really am. It's so cool looking. Next up is Blue Velvet, which is kind of a purpley blue. Uh, again, I haven't tried it yet because I've only got it in a set like last month. So next up is I'm Royalty. It is a purple and it is absolutely beautiful. I've tried it before, I've worn it before and it's gorgeous. So next up is Flame Trower and it is an orange. I haven't worn this on the lip, but I've worn it on the face and it is gorgeous. I'm kind of feeling orange lips in the summertime, you know what I mean? I think that'd be such a nice look. The next up is I'm Royalty. I've worn this so many times. It's kind of a light kind of purple, but not too light. It's so nice. I wore it in all my bloodlust pictures. So the next one is Blow Pony. It is a light purple and it is absolutely beautiful. And it's also from the Queen Bitch collection. But next up is Skin Tight. I usually always wear this paired with Leo. I wear, I usually wear it in the center. It is really nice over a really dark nude. Um, but I've never worn it by itself actually. So next up is Androgony. And Androgony. So next up is Androgony. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is kind of mm, a purpley nude kind of with a hint of red. It's hard to explain. You'll see it when it's on, but it, it looks gorgeous. Next up is I'm Vulgar. It is like a purpley pinky sparkly color it came from the queen bitch collection and i'm pretty sure it's kind of not sheer but it's not completely full coverage next up is royal armor it is like kind of a lilac -y glitter it's very very sheer and um, but it's so cute it really is and it's from the queen bitch collection so next up is posh spice this is another mini i think this could be from the open here for news collection um, and it's kind of a browny kind of grey toned liquid lip. So next up is Clout. It's very like Royal Armour from the Queen Bitch collection. This also is from the, from the Queen Bitch collection. It's very, very sheer. Um, I personally wouldn't wear them by themselves. I wear them more as toppers, but they're so cute. So next up is Leo. It is by far my favourite liquid lip ever. It is the nicest, nicest brown nude. I always pair it with skin tie, as I said earlier, and it's just the nicest thing ever. Next up is Scorpio. It is kind of like a purpley, grey, ashy kind of toned um, liquid lip. When I seen it first, I didn't like it, but then when I tried it on my lips, I actually quite did, so yeah. So next up is Virginity. It is a really, really, really pale pink. Uh, it's really cute though, it really is. It's really nice, just bronze skin, no, nothing on your eyes, just, yeah, gorgeous. So next up is Berries and Ice. I actually love this color. It is such a beautiful, it's literally just, yeah, berries. Beautiful, it really is. So next up is Breakfast at Tiffany's. It is an absolute beautiful classic little, how Tiffany blue? How do you even describe that colour without saying Tiffany? So next up is Queen Bee and it is a yellow and I don't think it's really a lip colour for me but uh, we'll try it anyway I guess. So the last liquid lip is Red Roma and this is the most beautiful red on the market. It is absolutely beautiful. So look at this. <laughs> so there'd be no point before I go and um, not swatching the last three items. Yeah, I'm not really a gloss girl, so I don't really wear gloss that often, unless maybe for just a picture. 
So I have three glosses from Jeffrey, and they are in the shades Legends Only, which is a nude, but I'm afraid it will look like foundation lips. And then the next is Succulent. This is the exclusive one from the Valentine's Mystery Box. And the last one is Sky High. This is just a normal gloss you can still buy. This is Sky High. Sky High is actually gorgeous. It gives like an iridescent shine to your lips and it's beautiful. Okay, so next is Succulent. I don't know if I've tested this before. Oh my god, wow. Well, wow. Well. It's kind of the same concept as the last one, but this is more of a blue kind of shift to it. Gorgeous. Hopefully we finish off on a good note. So, legends only. Let's go. Oh. That's all right, it just looks like kind of a nude. Yeah. It's just a nude glass. So, on my normal lips without anything underneath it, it just kind of looks like shiny lips. It feels nice on the lips, very hydrating. So yeah. Um, so guys, I really hope you liked this video. Let me zoom you out a bit. There we are. Uh, I really hope you liked this video. It literally took me about two hours to do, so please like and subscribe. I hope by the time this video is out, we're a bit closer to a thousand um, than we were a few weeks ago. Uh, we're currently at like 903 subscribers so hopefully by the time you guys are watching this we're a bit higher and if not please subscribe if you haven't already and check out the competition I'll put it below. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you sexy. Bye!